Egypt's, because of racism, sure. and those Egyptologists who came in the 20th, early in the 20th century, that they, if I'm understanding you correctly, that they changed reality. They rewrote what was previously documented history to tell the world that Africans didn't do what Africans had certified and validated through their writings and through their narrative that had been done. Is there proof, is there, can you give an example of sort of that sort of subterfuge? Sure, a uh, perfect example is James Henry Breasted, uh, one of the foremost Egyptologists in American history. It was Breasted who founded the Oriental Institute at the University of Chicago. Um, around 1919, Breasted wrote, wrote uh, an incredible book um, uh, that documented his travels in Egypt and described the ancient Egyptians as dark-skinned people with woolly hair who were not unlike the, uh, the Nubians who live in Egypt now. Well, this book was called Ancient Times, and it was a favorite book of uh, John D. Rockefeller. He read it to his children all the time. And then Rockefeller decided to fund Breasted, gave him $1.5 million to establish the Oriental Institute at the University of Chicago. But he also had caveats with that, uh, with that contribution in that in the second edition of Ancient Times, which was published around 1935, Breasted removed all references to the ancient Egyptians as, be as being dark-skinned people, and he added a new chapter where he said that they were members of the great white race. And he described this area, uh, the quadrant of the world where the great white race uh, rose and developed everything that became a part, significant part of civilization. Now that's one example, but there's Reisner, George Reisner, who excavated in Sudan, and so many others who saw the historical truth, saw, saw that black people who have been marginalized in this country and around the world, who have been enslaved because uh, Pope Eugenius IV said that black people had no souls. So people did not look upon us as people who created anything of value. So I can understand how racists would say, oh no, well, these buildings could not have been built by black people. They don't have intelligence. These black people could not have written uh, these great scripts. So they were operating uh, under a false system of white superiority. So when they were confronted with the historical reality, they uh, suffered what's referred to in psychology as an identity quake. Mm -hmm. Cognitive dissonance. You know, they couldn't connect the dots, so mm -hmm. they fabricated historical lies. Mm -hmm. and, and so the work that, that we're currently engaged in right now is to tell the truth. We are literally digging up the truth, and the truth speaks for itself. 